Elon Musk, the inventor of boiled egg and electric toothbrush, sold nearly $7 billion worth of Tesla share in case he had to buy Twitter. But we all know his intent to buy Twitter is as sincere as it was when he tweeted about taking Twitter private at $420 per share. But who we are to question the intent of the man who invented iPhone and of course ice cream. But as an investor, you should usually don't want to buy shares from the CEO of a company. Because as a CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk have way more information about Tesla than you and I do. So if Elon Musk want to sell Tesla share to you or to me, we have to ask a question. Why Elon Musk is trying to sell his share to us? And could it be the fact that there is something wrong with Tesla and Elon Musk knows it. But Elon Musk selling Tesla share is not one of the three reasons that I think you should consider before buying Tesla share. But before I share my thoughts about the three reasons, let me remind you. I am just a random guy on YouTube and you should take my word with a grain of salt. And this is not financial advice. Taking financial advice from a random guy on YouTube is very dangerous, so please don't. The number one reason why you should not invest in Tesla is evaluation. Currently, Tesla have a market cap of $922 billion and that is more than all of the rest vehicle manufacturer combined. It's more than three times of Toyota, the biggest car manufacturer in the world. But when you see the number of cars that was sold in 2021, you will see that Toyota by far sold more cars than any other car manufacturers. In fact, Toyota almost sold 10 times as much car as Tesla. In 2021, Tesla only sold 1 million car. Now, I do know there are people who think Tesla is still undervalued given the growth it will have in the future. Now that argument leads us to my second reason why you should not invest in Tesla share. And the second reason is too much stories. A good evaluation is a marriage between stories and numbers. Whenever we talk about something that is is, I consider that as number. Like how many cars Tesla sold in 2020, 2021, those are numbers. But how many car Tesla will sell in 2022 and 2023, those will be stories. Numbers are things that already happened. We know those as fact. The stories are the things that we come up with and Tesla have too much story in that regard. For example, Tesla says they have a goal of selling 20 million car by 2030. Now. Tesla only sell like 1 million car a year and from 1 million to 20 million it takes 20 fold and Tesla think that they can do that in 9 years. Now you have to ask, is it reasonable to expect Tesla to be able to produce let alone sell 20 million car by 2030? To do so, Tesla have to open a new factory in every quarter that will produce 500,000 cars. And there are other stories that associated with Tesla. For example, Tesla is not a car company because they have other sectors, energy for example. But so far, Tesla does not earn any money from their energy sector. In fact, they are actually losing money in the energy sector. So. Even if we consider that Tesla is an energy company, so what? It's an energy company that is losing money. And also there are some numbers that people talks about that has stories attached to them. For example, Tesla have a bigger profit margin than the legacy car companies. Yes, that's true. But we have to think about it. Like when the other car manufacturers will start to ramp up their electric car production, Will Tesla be able to hold to their profit margin? And that leads us to the third reason why you should not invest in Tesla. The third reason is increasing competition. There used to be a time when Tesla was the only known electric car company in the world. But in the last 2-3 years, all other legacy car companies and many other startups 
have come up with their own electric vehicle. In Europe, Volkswagen beating Tesla by the amount of cars they sell, and in China, General Motors sells more car than Tesla. And let me remind you, when it comes about quality of the product, Tesla has one of the worst car when it comes about build quality. Now I do believe Tesla will grow, but its growth is not going to be exponential. There will be an end to Tesla's growth when the other car companies will catch up and will have a fairly steady market share. And in that case, I believe Tesla's market share when it comes about the number of cars they sold will not be able to justify the evaluation Tesla have now.